Hey guys, what's going on? It's Obes Gaming back again with another video. It's a double upload day for this Team 2 of Summer Stars. And now we're going to be reviewing 94 rated Summer Stars Andrei Yarmolenko. As a West Ham fan, I couldn't let this pass by. Especially given that we've been given that showdown Daklan Rice as well to link him up nice and easily with. So, for starters looking at this card, he is 6 foot 3, so admittedly not the most meta, but he has got high attack and work rates and medium defensive. He's left footed and he's 4 star 4 star. And anybody who's ever watched Yarmolenko in real life knows that he should probably have one star weak foot because he has never used his right foot in his entire life. I've been to see him multiple occasions and I've never seen him actually kick the ball with his right foot. But moving on, as we said, he's not the most meta players at 6'3", but this could still be a really fun card. Looking at the face stats, it's very nice. So I picked him up for 64k, so he is nice and cheap just if, guy, if you guys do want to just try him out. But looking at the stats themselves... I'm going to say to use an engine with this card. Uh, so he's got a 90 pace with an 87-93 split. So you could you could go Hunter if you really wanted to max that out. But um, but I'm going to use an engine personally. The shooting doesn't need touching at all, which is why I'm saying avoid using a Hunter. 90 finishing is fine. Uh, good attack positioning. Great shot power. Great long shots. Passing's really nice as well. But we can just get that up that a little bit more with the engine. Getting it to 95 vision. 99 crossing. Decent free kicks, good short passing, good long passing, and 99 curve will be superb. The dribbling is where it gets a little bit tedious with the 82 agility, which isn't ideal. But with an engine, you know, you're, back, you're pushing that up to 86, and the same with the balance then. The rest of the dribbling stats are nice. Decent composure, perfect 99 dribbling, good reactions at 95, and good 96 ball control. I've got to be honest with a card that's already 6 foot 3, 6 foot 4, you're not going to notice the difference between, you know, 88 balance and 99, to be honest with a card that's that tall. Uh, good good heading and 85 stam's alright. 95 strength and aggression is really nice. In terms of traits, he is injury prone, just like in real life. He's got flair and the outside of the foot shot trait. Surprising to not see the finesse shot trait on this card, given that, you know, his entire career has been based around cutting inside on the left foot and finessing them in. Uh, but he does have the outside of the foot shot trait, which is nice. But let's ju just jump into some gameplay and see how he performs, and we'll make our judgement then. Alright, let's go. So getting into the gameplay with this guy, and uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm so pleasantly surprised. He's an absolute joy to use, honestly, I'm so surprised by how good he is. He is so quick-footed for such a big man, honestly, like, I can't believe I'm about to say this about Yarmolenko, but it just reminds me of using Ronaldo. His feet are superb. Obviously, he hasn't got the five-star skills, but yeah, I find him. I didn't find his low balance particularly a problem at all. He was going off left and right foot with a four-star weak foot. Honestly, as a big striker, I haven't used many better in this game. He reminds me quite a bit of Team of the Season Lukaku, who I uh, who I used more recently, in that he's just a big lump, but he's very quick and he has got fast feet as well. His finishing is absolutely immense. The outside the foot shot trait comes in handy in a lot of occasions, the amount he was bending it round rather than using his right foot, even though he does have the four-star weak foot. But yeah, he was scoring goals off both feet, outside the foot, he scored his typical finesse shot goals when he's cutting in off the right. I would say definitely use him as a striker, he's too big to use as a right midfielder like he plays in real life. Um, but it's, but as a striker, as a big, if you like a big man, for 65k, I really think you're, you're going to really struggle to find much better than him. I've really, really enjoyed using this card. I can't sing his praises highly enough. I know I'm slightly biased as a West Ham fan, but honestly, he has been absolutely a joy to use. Now, don't get me wrong, 90 pace is noticeable, especially when you're using an engine rather than a hunter. So, he's not the paciest guy, but... If you did want to go out and out striker, you know, just as a finisher, you can stick a hunter and rectify that. But you may lose out a little bit on the agility with the uh, and the balance with the losing the engine there. But the dribbling really was superb. I have not used a player of his size and had them feel as agile as I have with him. It, it's really blown me away. As you can probably hear in my voice. I'm seriously considering just selling my moments on re and using this guy up front because for 65k. There is so little difference between the two. It's actually unreal. Honestly, very Ronaldo vibes in the way he plays. He is a bit of the bigger ones. You know, you know, he's not going to play like a Ben Yedder. He's not going to play like a Tevez. You know, you can't expect him to do that. But as long as you know how to use a big man up front and like using a big man up front, which I do, I'm yet to use someone better than, than him. 
He reminds me an awful lot of the various decent Isaac cards we've had across the year, in that he is a bit taller, so obviously you do have to use him as a tall striker. Um, but he's rapid. Like, in terms of the interplay, the little one-twos, the on-the-turn, the, the, the dribbling, he's superb. As I said, the pace is a, leaves a little bit to be desired, but that can be rectified with a hunter or a catalyst, depending on what direction you want to go in. But that being said, his passing was superb. And the other thing is, in the air, really great option in terms of, you know, I, uh, crossing isn't a great idea on this game. But in terms of pumping the ball up to him from your keeper or just out of midfield, just doing that chip pass into him, he's going to keep it most occasions because he is six foot three, and he really, really can hold it up well. So, yeah, guys, I really can't sing his praises much more than I have for the sake of 65k. You know, as I said, not the most meta player, but for 65k, honestly, go and give him a go because you might be really pleasantly surprised like I am. And if you can play him to his strengths, he's absolutely brilliant. That brings the end of the video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, peace.